you, Lord. We're here to declare we love Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting us. You may be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To really show that we love him, we must have one purpose. Salvation. Salvation of our soul. And the Bible says, the work of Holy Spirit first begins in the understanding and is carried on the will of God. Affection and conversation. This means to be born again is to give up to God. The title of the message, We Are One. The first Corinthians 12, in that verse 14, now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. This means the numbers many, but the body is one. All Christians make up one body in Christ. Jesus is the head of the body, the common center of their unity. If Jesus is the common center of their unity, this means they are one body, but one purpose in life. It's like carry different stones, yam, cassava, sun, this, that, I carry it. That is load inside the basket. But this is the body that carries. No matter what is inside the basket, the body that carries is this. It's the same body that will fill the weight. No matter what is inside the basket, No matter what is inside it, either biscuit, stone, inside the basket, who carry it? The numbers, many, but the body, one. So what that verse 14 is trying to say, each of us have different ministries, different challenges. I mean, different operations and different gifts. But we are still on one body. If T.B. Joshua does not recognize you that is endowed with different gifts, it means I'm working for Jesus, but not a friend of Jesus. Many are working for Jesus. How many are friends of Jesus? If you do not recognize me because I'm given a different ministry, different operation, different gifts, you are working for Jesus but not a friend of Jesus. Because the Bible says every member mystically cannot have the same office. Let someone say mystically <laughs> cannot have the same place. Each member has its particular form, use, operation, and place. God has placed us where it places him. Are you where God wants you to be? Because he is not fused in the same station, the same place, or favored with the same gift. Shall we say he does not belong to Christ? 
Ask your neighbor, are you where God wants you to be? If you are where God wants you to be, his grace will be sufficient for you. When you are where God wants you to be, he will always speak strength and courage through your trials. Many of us, we are not where God wants us to be. That is why when trouble comes, we abandon our post. We go out of our way. And that trouble is supposed to be a tonic to our anointing. If you are where God wants you to be. Because the Bible says in the book of Mark 12, verse 10, the stone which the builder rejected has become the chief corner stone. It is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. The Bible says, man's rejection provokes God's direction. When man rejects you, God will direct you. When you are rejected, did you experience God's salvation? If truly you are a child of God, that persecution is the Lord's doing. So that he can use it to bring the best out of you. That hatred of men, people hate you, it is the Lord's doing. God allow it to happen. So that he can bring the best out of you. If you are where God wants you to be, your struggle will make you stronger. Now, in verse 22, on the contrary, those part of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable with treat. What does this mean? That is, imagine everyone loves me and accept me. I will grow up being a weakling. You know what I mean by weakling? That is, depending on the people to show me way. When you make God all and all, you have direction. Tell your neighbor, man's rejection provokes God's direction. The question, are you where God wants you to be? If you are not where God wants you to be, you always go out of your way. Because when you are where God wants you to be, where God guides, where God be, protection be. If you are not where God wants you to be, you will always depend on what you see, what you hear, and what others tell you. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. The problem most of us are facing. We have been renovated externally. But the Bible is talking about internal renovation and drinking into one spirit. Not external renovation. Internal renovation until you are renovated. On the inside, you will not be able to maintain your union with him. Tell your neighbor, until you are renovated. On the inside, you cannot maintain your union with Christ. What do I mean by union with Christ? You know with Christ is our working with him. Good times, hard times. When you are renovated 
on the inside, you will see your hard times as an opportunity for you to honor God before men. Look at Daniel. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, Joseph, Moses. Do you see your encounter with hard times as an opportunity for you to honor God? Or you see it as an opportunity to run Heta Sketa? You are looking for blessing money. You are so desperate. And when you are desperate to get blessing, you will not mind the source of your blessing. When Satan came to Jesus and asked him, you are hungry. Here is the food. Jesus said, look, it is true I'm hungry, but I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate at all. When you know that you are a part of the body, remember, we have one purpose in life. Satan always used our situation. He knows your situation. And immediately he realized that yeah, this man is sick. He will begin to move around using that situation to tempt you. So many of us, we have gone out of our way, out of our duty, for faith, God's promise. Pride is the major problem we are facing. Pride does not allow us to acknowledge another gift. Anything you do not have is not from God. That is pride. And no one can succeed alone. The minute member is a part of the body. Tell your neighbor. All his members He honors dearly. Pride is a sin in us by nature. And we must be armed against it. Because all believers make up one body in Christ. Because the Bible says, God has placed us where it places him. Are you where God placed you? If you are not there, you will go out of your way, out of your duty. Blessed is the man who follows the path of God. Even in darkness, light shines for the upright. Everyone has dark moments. What is your dark moment? Your dark moment could be poverty, could be isolation, rejection, name calling, false accusation, nightmare, fear. If truly you are a child of God, God will speak strength and courage through your darkness. If your enemy use iron to block your way, God will call a weather to cut the iron. In every situation, God has something to say. Tell your neighbor. In every situation, God has something to say. Even when it seems to be silent, he is still saying something. Tell your neighbor. You obstacle. I will not because of you. Change my direction. God can still speak through you. When the Lord said to Moses, stop disturbing me. I have heard you. You say you have heard me, but this is resting. Make row. 
and let me walk. And you say you have heard me, but here is this resting. The Lord said, act faith. And see whether you will not walk. This means faith does not ask for possible things, but impossible. Tell your neighbor. This is what you are here for. You are here for what you cannot do yourself. When the Lord asked Moses, go, add faith and move. In the natural, it was not possible for one to walk on the sea. But the Lord said, go. That should, you should go by faith. So I want to tell you today, with God, all things are possible. Rise up and wave your hand and believe this that with God all things are possible. I'm here for what I cannot do myself. Wave your hand, wave your hand. And open your lips now. Whatever chain Satan must have used to connect you. Satan has chain of doubt. Whatever chain Satan must have used to connect you to himself, begin to disconnect yourself. Begin to disconnect yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. The word connected. When you say, whatever chains Satan must have used to connect you to himself. It's like you give somebody something. I still put rope. We call it blessing of the world. Blessing of the world is a fading thing. Like photocopy, you know. If you give me this book, I'll take it to the machine, I'll do copy. We, we have original blessing. Satan has photocopy. And that photocopy, he keeps giving to his people. If I have photocopy here, and I photocopy it, and I give you back again. Before you do copies out of that photocopy, the whole thing will fade. You will not be able to read the letter again. That is Satan for you. Blessing of the war is a fading thing. Tell your neighbor. As the blessing is fading away, so the life that carries it.